Morvick is taking your calls at 270-9933, your pet questions. It's been such a mild winter, and there's a little bit of ice out there, and a lot of dogs will go through the ice this time. Yes. Uh, uh, my daughter, neighbor, had lost a dog through the ice really? last winter, yeah. So, they, so it can happen, and they were, you know, they live on a lake, and they got two dogs themselves, and it's always a worry, and same with the kids and the grandkids. So what do you, what do, you do if the dog goes in? Well, uh, the, if if it's shallow enough for you to stand up, you know, just go after it. Mm -hmm. and otherwise, you know, lay flat on the ice and try to get a hold of something and uh, keep a leash on so you can pull them back out so they don't get underneath the ice. But the, most dogs can swim enough to stay on top. And they get get them warm. Oh yeah, the, Put them in the, the back in the bathtub, that sort of thing, or not? Oh, I think just wrap them up. It depends on how long they're in the, in sure. the water. If they're too long and losing consciousness, take them to the vet. Yeah, and get them yeah. Warm or stay clothes. off the ice. Stay be, off the ice. That might be better. Let's go to the call. The phones will start with Wendy in Boston. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Hi. What's your question? Um, what recommendations, what vaccines would you recommend for cats that are in their senior years? Indoor cats. They don't get out at all. They go out just temporarily, out on a leash for uh, about 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. No exposure to other cats. No. Yeah. Well, uh, there's a lot of debate about vaccinating pets in general with some of the diseases that are in the vaccine. Like, uh, you know, people always went in for their distemper shot. Mm -hmm. Once a cat's an adult, it's never going to get distemper. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So, it's just convenient to say your distemper shot, but it's the other diseases in there that you're really looking for, which are respiratory viruses that cause colds and runny eyes and things. And they don't make a very good immunity, so boostering them every year is a good idea on that. And uh, most veterinarians are pretty much up on that, and they can uh, fill you in on, on the latest thinking of some, you can test the immunity of your pet before right. you vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, so. A lot of debate on vaccines yes. lately. Yeah. All right, let's go to Jen in Reeseville. Hi, Jen. Hi. I have a question for him. Um, my dog sleeps an awful lot. And another one is these meat treats you can buy um, over, you know, they're only a dollar or something. Someone had on Facebook one day that his dog got sick and died from eating them. Hmm. I don't know what. I don't know what yeah. treats those are. Well, there was some discussion about treats made in China. Yes, and over the years, I remember that we have run into uh, these rawhide chews mm -hmm. that some of them were quite toxic from China. Just make sure it's made in America. Yeah, made in America and, and a reputable company because they and, have And sleep too much? Dogs sleep a lot. Well, the, there may be problems like thyroid or something. I don't know what the what the rest of the history is on the dog. Yeah, if it's sleeping too much. If it was it. active and all of a sudden it just sleeps all the time, there's probably something yeah. wrong. All right. We are out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. Doctor will talk to you off the air. We'll see you next month. Yes, sir. All right.